this upgrade, Hatzalah, which is already an outstanding model of coordination and efficiency, will be able to do even more for the community that it serves, the communities that it serves. These dedicated volunteers who give so generously of their time deserve nothing less. I want to thank Assemblywoman Helene Weinstein for her hard work in helping to secure these much-needed funds. Rabbi David Cohn and Eshi Jacobs for their outstanding work that they do on behalf of Hevra Hatzola and, of course, all of the volunteers, many of whom are here, who make their great service possible. Uh, it's uh, over the years I have admired the, the work of the uh, of Hatzola, the volunteers of Hatzola who are my constituents, who are constituents of uh, who live all over the state, and the, the, the tremendous work that they do, giving their time and uh, th their time, their energy, their dollars uh, to help make Hatzola the premier organization that it is today. It's no secret that people do this out of a, out of a love for their their neighbors and for helping uh, to, to help the That's community. It's always one of those numbers that you have and you hope you never need it, uh, but you know that it's there and you know that people are there dedicated uh, to performing this wonderful service. When I heard that there was going to be a new headquarters and that there was a need to upgrade the communication system to be able to allow the ambulances to respond even quicker, to be able to allow the volunteers to respond quicker statewide, the central uh, command center. I was so enthusiastic to be able to, to marshal together the, the, the funding uh, to be able to present the, funding for this project to be, uh, to be able to go $45,000 for, uh, that will revamp the communication system in the command center. Uh, so it's, it's my pleasure to be able to present the ceremonial uh, check, uh, but really to use this opportunity uh, to say thank you on behalf of my constituents, so all of, uh, I know the, the thousands of volunteers in the Clapperish community, community and all over the city. Couldn't be more honored to participate in this. Uh, this is a uh, certificate, uh, volunteer, uh, Hop Solo Volunteer Ambulance Service Certificate of Appreciation. In grateful recognition of your continuing service and support. Hop Solo hereby presents Assembly Member Helene Weinstein with a certificate of appreciation for your legislative leadership in helping Hop Solo save lives throughout New York. Signed by Harold Jacob, President, and Senator David Cohen, CEO. Thank you. Thank you. We put the phone number on it again. Right, we have the phone number. We walk around with that. Just to understand that there are 1,200 people, 1,200 individuals, represented by the few of us in this room, who actually go out every day and every night, 24 hours, uh, 365 days a year. Yes, even on Yom Kippur, even on Rosh Hashanah, if there are calls, and unfortunately there usually are. Uh, people go out and make the calls and not only come to the home and take the person to the hospital and treat them, but are working all year long. Isaac can tell you in Flatbush, you have people east side in Borough Park and Williamsburg and upstate New York, uh, just working all the time to raise the money because everything is done with private funds. Everything is done through fundraising. This is the first time that Hatzola has been able to get, has been asked, has asked to get a capital grant. Uh, we've not taken any for operations, only for capital, uh, because we really need to upgrade Communication system. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you, Senator Lee. Weinstein, David Cohn. Um, Hatsol, I've been in Hatsola since 1968. The organization uh, never ceases to amaze me in its growth in how it happens. It grows because I, I believe God watches over us because we have really a, you know, the Hebrew National, we answer to a higher authority. But we really answer to a higher authority. Uh, whether we need money, we need equipment. Uh, in the Catskills, there was a terrible call on Saturday night. We'll not get into the call, but one of the young men that was very badly injured had to be transported from Harris Hospital where they had to crack his chest open and put him on a portable respirator and actually get him down to Valhalla. The helicopter couldn't fly in because of the rain and the fog. 
And the young man's alive today because of Atzola's innovation. And you know, we were wondering where we're we gonna get the money to buy the equipment. And our motto is, you know what? God gave us a job, go get the equipment, and then God will have to figure out where the money comes from. So Shelly, God, and you know, I Shelly has, God has put you into the, into, into the equation in helping us get the money to do this. The communications, as David said, is, is the, is the I can't begin to thank you. I could stand here and talk for hours about Atzola because I am amazed where we grew. We're now an international, we don't run it. We're in London, we're in Switzerland, we're in Mexico City, Belgium. we're in Belgium, we're in Los Angeles, we're in uh, Baltimore, Florida. all of the, Miami. Miami, all of these groups have started because of what they saw us do. The, the longest call we ever got was from Switzerland. The man got a heart attack in the airport in Lugano, Switzerland. So what did the person know? Call Atzola. So Atzola, they call Atzola in New York. Atzola in New York called Atzola in Switzerland. And there we were. So we, we, we answered all. So by putting in the redundancy, the computers and everything, this will make us a much more reliable service than we are. Sorry for talking so long, but it's a subject matter that I'm in love with, I have to tell you. And, and it's something that, if you know how, they tell us that if, if you want to know if you're doing a mitzvah correctly, Shulchan Aruch says it, see if your children take the mitzvah from you and run with it. And if you did it, if you did it for the sake of God, that's what will happen. Well, there's my son Dovi. He's in Atzala. Okay, I have another son, Atzala. I have two son-in-laws in Atzala. So the family has my Mechut Mechayim Lazar is in Atzala. And his, and his son-in-law, sons-in-law, sons which is my son, also in Atzala. So we have taken it over and we run with it. And now we're waiting for the grandchildren to go to take over. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry. People who are watching uh, this video and if they want to donate to Atzala, is there a telephone number? Sure, if they call our central office, 718-998-9000, and uh, speak to any one of the people who answer the phone, and they'll be able to make online or get credit card contributions. We'll send in a check. We very appreciate it. One, two, three.